In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called container with most water. So given a non-negative integer array, and we're trying to return a maximum um, area uh, with most water, right? So in this case, we're given a integer array, and then each coordinate, each element in the array represents, has a coordinate, right? With i is going to be the index, which is the x index, uh, x axis. Um, and then uh, ai basically is the value of the array. and um, for each element, and then that's going to be the y, uh, y axis, right? So um, in this case, we we're getting vertical lines drawn such that two endpoints of the line i is at i at ai, and and uh, i at zero find two lines which together with x axis forms a container such that the container contains the most water. So here you can see we have an example of integer array where the height which represents the height of each vertical lines, and then the index is going to be the x axis, right? So here you can see the, the, the result uh, in this case is 49, which is the max area between two vertical lines. In this case, we have seven, right, times the width is seven. Uh, that, um, basically how they got that is basically we have two lines, right? We have a this line right here and this line right here. So the height in this case is gonna be seven, right? Because in this case, water must have a height, must have a vertical bar or vertical line that uh, that has this that has the same height, right? In this case, we have a same height of seven, right? And then the the width in this case is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So eight minus the uh, one because this the x for this one is one, the x is this for for this one is eight. Eight minus one is seven, so it has a width of seven. So in this case, we have seven times seven. In this case, we have forty nine. So in this case, we're just going to um, trying to find the max area of water, which is the blue section. And then in this case, we're returning the max area, which is in this case 49. So to solve this problem, we can, one way we can do is we can use a brute force approach. And then for each, every single element item in the array, we're going to have to iterate to find the max area. And then the other pointer, uh, I pointer is going to point to the, the current element and the J pointer is going to point to each and every single element, which is going to calculate the max area. And then at the end, we're just returning the max area for sure. But this will give us a time complexity of n squared. So what we can do is we can use a two pointers to solve this problem by uh, improve the time complexity down to a linear time complexity. So we can have a one pointer points to here and the other pointer points to here at start. And we're going to calculate the max area. So the max area in this case is going to be uh, seven, right? Um, Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight minus zero is, in this case, is gonna be eight. So eight times one, right? Because the height is one, right? The minimal height between those two vertical lines is one. So one times eight is eight. So then we're gonna move the smaller vertical line one to the right. So in this case, we have the left point here, the right point is here still. And uh, we have the, ver uh, the smallest, line uh, smallest vertical line between those two lines, in this case, seven. So seven, times the width in this case one two three four five six seven right so seven times seven in this case we get 49. so 49 is basically the um like the the area the, the area that's bigger than eight so the max area so far is 49. okay then we're gonna move our pointers one to the the right uh the left because this is the smaller vertical line we're gonna move one to the left so now we have an area right because this is three so the height is three, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times three, in this case, 18, 18 is smaller than 49. Then we're just going to continue to move the smaller vertical line to the to the left, right? So at the end, we will get to a point where the uh, where the vertical lines, the two pointers met each other, then we know that we um, basically trying to find, we basically found all the max area, and then we are getting the max area that we have that we that we have seen so far, then we're just going to return that at the end. So now let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So to do this in code, first we're going to define our pointers, right? So we're going to we know that the uh, the height, or I should say the length of the array in this case is going to be um, bigger than or equal to two. So in this case, we can first define our pointers. Define pointers. Once we define our pointers, we're going to um, so one pointer is going to point to the left and the, the first element, the other pointer, the right pointer is going to point to the last element in the array. 
And then we're going to traverse, um, basically uh, get in the area, right? We also have to have our uh, max area defined. So we're gonna have our max area variable defined to keep track of the current max area that we have seen so far. Then we're going to basically um, use two pointers to move the pointers um, um, by finding the max area. So basically trying to find the max area. So first we're gonna have our left, which is zero, and our right is gonna be equal to n minus one. So n is equal to height dot length. Okay, so we're gonna have n minus one for the right. And then we're also gonna have our uh, max area variable, which is equal to integer dot max, right? We wanna find the smallest. Um, so in this case, we're comparing uh, who has this, the maximum value. So we wanna make sure we set this into a minimal value. Right, so that the next area that we found is going to be bigger than the integer the minimum value. So we're going to say while left is less than the right, right, less than the right pointer, we're going to first get in our current area. So in this case, the area is equal to um, right minus the left. We're getting um, the width, right? So the width is basically the right pointer minus the left. And then we're, get, we're going to have the width times by the height. So the height is going to be the minimum value between um, nums or height at right and height at left, right? So the, the minimum value between left and right. Uh, once we have the, the area, we're going to define to see if that's the max area that we have seen so far. So in this case, we're just going to max. Um, in this case, we're going to update our area. So max area is equal to math dot math dot max between either max area that we have seen so far or the current area. So once we up update our um, current max area, we're going to um, see which pointer should we move. Right. In this case, we're going to move a um, a pointer that has a smaller vertical line. So in this case, if height at left is smaller than height at right, then we're going to move the left pointer one to the right. Otherwise, if we have a current, the, the, the right pointer is less than, or the, the, the right height is less than the right left height, then we're gonna make sure we move the right pointer one to the left. And at the end, we're just gonna return the max area that we have seen so far. Okay, so now let's try to uh, run our code. Okay, so now let's try with a few more examples. Okay, let's try to submit. And here you can see this is how we solve this um, container with most water in a linear time complexity and the space complexity in this case is gonna be constant.